Welcome back everyone, it's Stray Faye here with another episode of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We've made it to the Forest Temple at last. It's our first dungeon as an adult. Our fourth dungeon total if we count all the child dungeons. Alright, there's a nice door there, but let's look around. You can see on our right there's a nice wall of vines. Let's climb up those. Let's go up, up, up we go. <laughs> yeah, usually... Usually my first inclination too would be to go just straight straight towards the door, but there's a very important item up here. And there's a Skulltula here too. And I think I just summoned a bunch of wolfos. <laughs> I hear them howling. And yeah, let's be careful how we aim here. Yeah, the reason why I was being so careful is that you can actually hookshot onto these vines and I didn't want to like accidentally fall off that way. Um, okay. It looks like a dangerous jump. You know, instead of jumping, I think you just hookshot onto the chest. Yes, this is a safer, safer bit. Safer bet. And we got a small key! Alright, it's our first small key of the dungeon. Of ever, actually. So yeah, this is gonna be a gimmick of all the adult dungeons. You're gonna have to find small keys to open open locked doors. Ow. Ignore the wolves. Kill the Skulltula. <laughs> so nice that I don't have to wait. Ooh, a heart, thank you. I don't have to wait for them to show their underbelly. <laughs> the hookshot just takes care of them instantly. Ooh, we got an elevator! And some unique looking ghosts. No! They took away the fire! Which operates the elevator. Alright, and then they go in opposite directions, so that means you had to hunt them down to get the elevator working again, but... I'm not going to go in any of those directions. I'm going to go straight first. I'm going to be a rebel. Alright. Over here. On the side. Sculptula number two. There he is. Head through the door. Eh, you, you're a new enemy? Blue bubble. Okay, ah, okay. Stop it. Okay, whew. Good. And this looks like a mini boss. Stalfos lurk close to you and watch his movements carefully. These guys are oh, a bit more aggressive than lizard foals. Although, if you're aggressive too, then sometimes you get a lot of hits in. That sacrifice of health. Actually, I think. Eh. I'm just gonna focus one at a time. If you crash down like that and like stab your sword, I think sometimes you can stab their feet without having to go through your shield. Ah, you're tricky. You're tricky. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's a way for you to do attacking animation. Okay, there, barely. God, it always that fight always depends on how they attack. Although sometimes if you go like hog wild, you can just get past your defenses. I'm not very good at very good at that. It's a fairy. Replenish my health, please. No, don't go on the wall. No. Fairy, come back. You're being mean. Alright, we got a small chest here. It's probably not the map. Ooh, we got another small key. Good. There's probably gonna be an area where there's Ow. A sequential. <laughs> Series of locked doors. We're gonna need to collect as many keys as possible. Alright, as for our next direction. 
All right, we can't head up there because of the balcony. Um, there's a door there, but we don't have our slingshot anymore, so we can't shoot the eye switch anymore. It's a locked door. And a block. I think I'm gonna go past the block of time. Um, how does this go? No, that's that's the inverted song of time. There we go. <laughs> so like, how does it go? <laughs> Have to feel feel along the controller. I don't actually remember the song. It's kind of like how you type in a password. When you don't remember the password, you just remember how it's like to type it in on the keyboard. <gasps> Big Darko Baba. Get rid of the Octora. Do not assault me. Alright, you are dead now. Let's see, over here is a well. Kind of interesting to note is that if you kind of sequence break and get the iron boots, you can actually sink down to this well and get the treasure that's inside without having to... without having to drain the well. But we don't have... we don't have that, so we're gonna have to drain the well. Uh, let's see, this wall looks promising. Just, just kind of playing things by ear, but this this looks like the right way. I don't think I can reach the last one. I cannot reach the last one. So I'm gonna have to sneak by it. Yeah. I think I was probably safe to go right then and there. Run, 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 run! Okay, I was, I was, I was in the clear. I was fine. Bubbles. Oh come on! Stop it! Oh, wiggly thing. What is this? It's a big chest. This must mean it's either the map or the compass. I'm, I'm betting on the map. I'm also trying to open it the wrong way. Come on, what is it? I got a map! Alright, now we can see stuff on the dungeon map. That's pretty good. There's a lot more floors in this dungeon. So yeah, that's that's good. But let's go this way. Let's go forward. Hey, don't go, Baba! And I stopped missing horribly. Thank you. No, the stick! Oh well. I can't even use sticks. Alright. Little hookshot targets. Little hint to go there. Ew, a purple switch. <laughs> I'm used to them only being gold and blue. Alright, that emptied out the well. It looks like we're in another courtyard. Wait. Ah, oh, God! Yeah, this is a different courtyard. I was like, it looks the same, same enemies. Just different layout. No. Stick! Must collect all the sticks. Alright, Navi's pointing to something. Is that Pierre? Let's see if that's Pierre. No? It wasn't Pierre? What is it? Or do I have to get closer? Is that a hint that I have to be like at the end of this? Try it one more time. If it doesn't work, then oh well. No. The only thing I could think of would be the Song of Time. Which would summon the blocks, but I can I can get across using this. There we go. Careful to hook shot it on this face or else you'll slide off. I got a heart, thank you. And I hear you. Skulltilla number three. I already got three. I'm being very generous here. I 
I'm semi curious. Try this one more time. And if it doesn't work, I'll try the song of time. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just move on with my life. It's nothing. You're going to bother me this whole dungeon, aren't you? Alright, well, let's move on. There are other things that we can explore, such as this well. I don't need no stinking ladder. Ow! Oh, Link. This is actually pretty creepy. Why is it all red? Ugh. This isn't- this isn't Kakariko. It shouldn't be this creepy. I suppose there are ghosts here. Right at the end of this... Got it. there's a baby chest. Okay, let me get the right face. And we got key number three! Alright, we have three keys and we haven't opened a single door yet. Alright, let's get back up here. And head back to the center room. Can you can you leave me alone? Thank you. Do not want to have to keep fighting you. Alright, bit bit turned around. This way? Yes, this way. Other two doors are inaccessible. In we go. Die. You have anything for me? Nope, nothing. No hearts, no rupees, no nothing. Eh, this room. Uh, let's see. This is this is a pretty big puzzle room. Okay, there's nothing there. I always like to check. Little nooks and crannies for secret treasure chests. Eh, get on the ladder. My one weakness. Ladders. There are arrows painted on the floor. Hint. Follow the arrows. Or at least... Make the block follow the arrows. It's a very big block. I think you are very strong. And how are you holding this? It has no surfaces. To like, hold on to. Link is a wizard. Okay, that's as far as we can push it, so let's loop around here. Okay, yeah, this block is huge. You'd never be able to push this as a child. Alright, now we can climb up it and head up the next level. Which is another block. Alright, pull this one too. unfortunately as far as we can get it, so we're gonna have to find another way up. Okay, so memory serves. Yes, there is a ladder. Okay, nothing there. What's over here? A little eye switch. Have to remember that for later. Okay. Push you. And we're gonna have to go back down. Goody. Is there anything over here? That just looks like a dead end. I wanted to fall down that way. I'm curious. Okay, it's just, it's just another way down. Up, up, up we go. And let's push. Did it. 
Okay, I hear, I, I hear enemies, so I'm getting worried. Even higher? Jeez. Okay, here's the door. Luckily, we have another key. Know where these guys head on through this door. This corridor, they're all blah. This corridor is all twisted. Yes, we can see that. Kind of a neat optical trick they do. And watch out for the shadows of the monsters that time from the ceiling. Yes, that's that's kind of important. That's a good warning, Navi. If you stay here too long, a shadow will creep up under you. If it falls on you, it'll take you back. Oh god. No, 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 no. <laughs> it'll take you back to the entrance, and I do not want that. Okay, see that picture of a Poe, but we can't do anything with it yet. So. Oh boy. Oh, great. And then there's like a hole of death there, so like I can't go crazy. And be careful this time. Except for that time. Ooh, now there's two. You can't get- okay, maybe you can't get close. Ugh. These remains are still on the floor, it means you have to destroy the other one or else the other staff will, or will reassemble. Come on. Of course, you're gonna be slow about it, aren't you? Okay, I was afraid I was taking way too long. And we got another chest. Is there any fairies in these? I'm a desperate need of, heart of hearts. There we go. What are we gonna get? We got the fairy bow. All right, now I can finally shoot things. This will make going through the dungeon a lot easier. Yes, yes, yes. Same controls as as a slingshot. All right, set it to trigger. Let's backtrack a bit to where that Poe was. On that painting. It's on that one. And you ran away. Are you going to run away if I look at you? Okay. Yeah, shoot the paintings and then they light on fire. Makes perfect sense. Alright, she has nowhere to hide now. There she is. Who are you? You are Joelle, one of the Poe sisters. Come on, reappear. And shoot! I wonder if I could just use my sword. Use less arrows that way. Die! Don't want to get too close or else she'll start swinging at me. Die! Oh no. Like that. There we go. Three is a trick. And we got a chest for our efforts. Ooh, we got a small key. Alright, very important. Alright, let's backtrack a little further. Because uh, if you remember, <laughs> there are some ice switches back there, so let's head back. Boom. 
Okay, um, I'm kind of semi-curious what that ice switch down here was. I don't think it's an important treasure. I think it was just arrows or something. I'm gonna check. My curiosity. Here we are. See, I think that's short enough where I can actually just jump that. Okay. Yeah, it was just arrows. <laughs> It's a bundle of arrows, so it fills up, fills up our quiver. Alright, it was just pure curiosity now, it's satisfied, and I don't have to worry about it. Alright, let's head back up. And all the way back up, great. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too bad. Can I not get assaulted by you and then fail? I'm gonna have to get rid of you guys. You like me too much. Go away. Okay. You're, you're minding your own business, so I'm not gonna kill you. Shoot that. And now the quarter is all straight. There we go. Yep, now that the room's all rearranged, we have this spectacular looking chest. Let's open this. Surely it's something of import is here. Yes, we got a boss key. Not only do we have to get small keys to open little doors, we have to find... Oh god. Huh. Oh, you're not dead yet. Okay, two hits. Ooh, money. Lots of money. Yeah, we also have to find a big boss key to open the boss door, or else if you find the boss door and forget to get the key, then you're screwed and you have to backtrack. Alright, um... I'm not sure if I should go forward or... You know, I'm just gonna go down the hole. It's probably a trap. Ow. <laughs> I'm like insisting on this one first and it's being the most difficult. There we go. And that opens the door. Um, actually, yeah, this is where I want to be. I ignore the Deku Guava. Let's try to get on the top of those pillars without falling. There right. we go. Sculptula number four? Give me that. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, we got another gold sculptula. Can I get that? Okay. <laughs> now let's be extra careful. And not die. Big Deku stick. Okay, there's just empty cubby. Um, which door? <laughs> Map. Okay, it looks like this one. This one goes to a dead end, so it's probably probably has something in it. Haha. Got them in one, one swoop. Yay, magic! No, we don't really use magic for anything. Ooh, yes, this is this was very important. Got got another small key. Good thing I went down that hole. Hello. All right. Now this door. 
This puts us back in the big block room. All right. It's keep gotta keep climbing. Yes, yeah, that's, that's one thing about these newer dungeons, these later dungeons, is that it's a lot of back and forth now. It's no longer no longer as linear. But luckily, all the puzzles are solved, so we can just run right through. One more set. One more set of ladders. Okay. Gotta retwist the corridor. If I can even. So close. So just as. There we go. Retwist the corridor so we can uh, jump across. Oh, for a second I thought that was like Bowser's face while I was moving, but just looks like some some symbol. Right, hop across before a scary shadow comes. <laughs> Weird shortcuts. All right, back into this room. That's enough backtracking. Are there more hearts in here? Yes, there are. I'll take those. Okay, I already got those two that were in there. Alright, you got another room that's similar to the one we were just in, and another torch. Which means there's another bow in here. I don't want to scare her. This one's blue. Nowhere to hide. All right, what are you, you named Miss Blue? You are Beth, Beth the Blue Pill. Come on, come on up here. Gotta be, gotta be patient with these. With these guys. It's kind of neat how these poses have unique names. So like, you connect them with real people. These are probably people that lived in the temple at some point. But then died and now haunt it. Haunt this place forever. And she gave me a big chest. This is probably the compass? The only big treasure that's left? Yay, the compass! Okay, now we can find all the other treasures hidden away in here. Although, there aren't that many. There are two. Two that are left. Alright. Let's proceed forward. Um, okay. Thank you, Navi, for telling me. Anything down that hole? Oh, it's it's nothing. It's a nothing hole. The green bubbles. I think they have a different attack pattern. They just they just float in one place in a circular fashion. What is this? Well, it's obviously a puzzle I have to solve. All right, so that's that's encased in ice. Ice plus fire equals melted ice. Eh. No, I missed. <laughs> oh god! I have to aim. I have to time and aim. It's what I'm horrible at. You guys, you guys see me do the shooting gallery. It took me forever. Okay. 
I didn't hit the eye, but it still counts. I don't want that twist the corridor. My exit's all the way over there. You know what? Reminds me of island hopping in Medora's mask. There's no point going through the door. That means I have to go down the hole. Right? I hope so. Okay, this seems about right. Okay, that, se that seems like a door that goes... That seems like it goes to the center room, so let's go this way. Yes, yes, Navi. Link, watch out, the ceiling's falling down. As it is falling down. Killing you. Oh god, <laughs> I'm stuck on your leg. Alright, let's avoid the spooky spider. Alright, got a bundle of arrows. <laughs> Nothing important. Alright, this is this the last not the last, this is the third Poe. It's a little bit different than the other two Poes we fought. Yeah, she has blocks suspended in the air. Let's shoot her portrait. And you have to complete complete her picture using four blocks. There's one one block that isn't used. Which is obviously this dark blue looking one. This looks like a picture of Beth. So, get that one out of the way. Only got a minute to do this. I think we're good on time. 30 seconds. Oh god, come on. Let me grab. Perfect. Okay, easy peasy. Okay. We we're very close. Who are you? You were Amy. Amy the Green Po. Okay, same technique as the other two. Die. You died once, I'll die you again. Three hits, you're out. Alright. That's that's it. That means that means what, Navi? Means a lot of things. No, nope, no hearts. No hearts, I'm sad. Alright, you're back in the center room. And... Someone's not too happy with us. Last Poe sisters, mourning... The re-death of her three sisters? Alright. Well... You know what comes next. You're barring my way. Alright, so she's a bit different. You have to watch out for which which of her copies is spinning, and that's the real one. You. It's you. more. Alright, 
There we go. That's it. She doesn't have a face, too. <laughs> it was on top of the elevator. Okay, get down. I know it's fun to be up there. Alright, let's get on the elevator. Luckily, it's super fast. Alright, now we got this rotatey room, I guess. I guess that's appropriate to call it. Just grab one of these one of these walls and push it. That will rotate rotate the room and he'll get access to more cubbies. So push this. Unlocks a gate somewhere. Alright, nothing in that cubby. Let's let's keep pushing it in the same direction. I look really thirsty. Okay, that's better. Nothing that cubby. I'm actually getting kind of hungry too. Okay, another switch. Okay, that's it. Nothing in there. I hear a sculptula. Cubby. Something in that cubby. Oh. You are right here. Hiding with your friend. There's also a chest in here. What do you have? Alright, <laughs> just some arrows. Those will probably be useful for the boss. The boss always seems to require an item that you found in the dungeon. Okay, looks like maybe this is the last switch. Yay, this opens the way forward. Okay, <laughs> we've hit the boss door, so hopefully, hopefully you guys got the boss key or else you'll be very sad and we'll have to backtrack to that twisted room. Right, let us enter. Let's enter the spooky boss room. And then you'd be like, hey, there's nothing here. There's a lot of a lot of triforces and spooky paintings. Who designed this art gallery? Alright. Try to leave. And your way is barred. It's Ganondorf! Just kidding, I was just wearing his face. Evil spirit from beyond, Phantom Ganon, alright. Alright, these paintings are gonna be an important mechanic of the fight. He's gonna jump into one. And prepare to shoot. Uh, you look like a fake. Alright. Yeah, the... You'll approach from two paintings, but the brighter writer, if that makes sense, is the real one? Where is he? Okay, there he is. You almost shot me. You, wait. Okay, that one. Alright, the horse goes back in the painting, but he doesn't. Ow! Ugh! Alright. Oh god. Oh, come on! This is too close! Quit being mean. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh, you little, you little cheeky fellow, aren't you? All right now, all right, now are you doing it for realsies? Ow! I hit that. All 
Alright, now, now this looks like the for realsies one. Oh, come on! Cheese and crackers, man. Come on. Alright. For realsies? For realsies this time? It gets faster. Oh god! I wasn't ready for that one! Ugh. I'm gonna drink my milk. My yogurt. Oh god, I am not targeting you anymore. I'm drinking my other bottle. I've not hit you once, this is not good. I'm gonna go for cool po- <laughs> Really, the bottle, that was a secret all along. Yes, you can use the bottle to deflect the beams as well. He wasn't expecting that. It looks like I'm chucking the friggin' energy ball back at him. This is what I needed all along. <laughs> Oh wow, you're in the door. I can't believe I did that with the bottle and not the sword. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I'll oh, banish it to the gap between dimensions. Aw, but it was only trying to help by killing me. Poor thing. It just wanted me to die. Alright. That's it. And don't forget to pick up the heart container on your way out. Yay, we have 13 hearts. We, we needed those hearts desperately. Thank you. Because of you, I can awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as a forest sage and help you. Now please, take this medallion. Alright, we received the forest medallion and Sri Sri awakens as a sage and as her power to yours. I always thought that this referred to Saria going into the temple and then she died from the monsters that were within the temple and then awakened as a sage, so I always kind of thought it sad, but they never explicitly say if she died. They just say she awakened. Saria will always be your friend. Aww, our childhood friend. Uh, 
There's a little sprout by the Deku tree. What is this? And it gives like a heart attack. I like how he's still screaming while on the floor. Poor guy. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Alright, so life goes on. Even though the great Deku Tree has died, he... He has a progeny. He has a little sprout. Because of you and Saria broke the curse on the forest temple, I could grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognize you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokari never grow up. Even after seven years, they're, st they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, you might have already guessed it. You're not a Kokairi. You're actually a Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Some time ago, before the king of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokairi, and now finally, the day of destiny has come. You are Hylian. And we're always bound to leave this for forest. How do you know all this? Do you just innately know because you're the magical Deku Tree? And now, you have learned your own destiny. So, you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. That's a pretty lofty quest you have there for me. Okay, so next time we'll we'll figure out where we need to go next. <laughs> so obviously, after the Kokairi Forest, the next people that we want to to help out were the Goron. So we'll probably head there next. But anywho, I hope you had a fun time, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.